So there's a place between um, being totally complacent and, and panicking um, about what's going on and the outbreak of coronavirus. And I think uh, to come in the middle is a better place to be. Uh, it's not to be taken lightly um, as it's you know spreading quicker and it's more contagious and a lot of the elderly and those with uh, weakened immunity are affected the most. So some of the you know things that you have already heard, but I will quickly repeat um, them here is again, washing your hands. I've been washing my hands more purposefully, more consciously between each client. And um, uh, secondly, is to drink hot water, sip on hot water, as opposed to cold uh, beverages with ice in it, avoid any cold drinks. And thirdly, now is the time to really get good rest um, and a lot of our events and things have canceled. So this gives, gives us an opportunity to be at home and turn in and just rest and also to eat uh, wholesome foods, any sugar uh, processed foods. The virus is thrives on processed foods and sugars. So really wholesome, basic, simple cooked meals as opposed to um, raw foods um, would be beneficial and keeping up with not with the taking the supplements whether it's vitamin A, C, vitamin D, iodine might be a, a good one to take and zinc um, to keep the immunity strong. So and I know on the other spectrum, there are, you know, many people panicked and there's a, you know, a lot of things going on about the toilet paper at the grocery stores and whatnot. And, um, you know, everything happens when there's an outbreak and there's a global scare like this. You know, we're humans, all kinds of behaviors show up. But again, just using these common sense uh, tools are useful. But one of the things that and all of these, um, you know, what to do have been repeated by many experts and by medical doctors, people who are working in the, in the uh, hospitals, people who are in direct contact with there. So we do have a lot of good information. But what I wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about on this live video is what to do about the fear. And... Um, uh, so one of the things, you know, I thought about, like, is it creating fear? Uh, yes, it is creating fear. But, you know, fear or any energetic uh, ex experience is not pulled out from thin air. So I think rather than creating fear, I'd like to think that it's a showing up fear in us, fear that we may carry um, on an ongoing basis about many things that fear that we do not address, fear that we don't know what to do with, so that fear does not get metabolized. And having an outbreak like this, it just brings to surface that fear that we have carrying, that we are carrying on an ongoing basis subconsciously. Because not everyone is reacting to this um, the same way. Some people are utterly panicked, no matter what you tell them, and the, the panic kind of goes beyond the logic. And there are some people who are just conscious about it, and there's some like it's not even facing them, because I really think it's whatever is going on within you, it's surfacing that emotion uh, within a person. So. And no matter how much, you know, we can tell people don't panic, those who are going to panic are going to panic. And those who are going to be fearful is, are going to be fearful. So what I like to talk about is how to, how to metabolize this fear, what to do with fear. And it, it may seem like a far-fetched um, thing to do or, you know, but I, I strongly believe that there's a reason why this is coming about. So what we are seeing around us today is a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. If we continue to add on to that fear by talking more about it, 
by, you know, talking about the news and by how many people are affected, we are actually adding on to the fear. None of us want to feel the fear. So if we don't want to feel the fear, if we don't want to spread the fear, it's really to go to the opposite end of the spectrum, which is love. So fear is lack of love. Love is not just, you know, our rosy chocolate love. Love is all encompassing, which has to do with acceptance, which has to do with grace, which has to do with the trusting, which has to do with becoming conscious and being socially responsible, etc., cetera, et cetera. So how can we, there's, you know, the, the, ener the emotions are energy, and energy has a vibration and a frequency. So the frequency and the vibration of fear is, is a lower vibration, lower frequency. So even if we don't, we don't even need to know if it's lower or higher, but it will like attracts like. It will attract more fear. Fear will bring more fear. And although we may not be wanting to do that, but us consciously repeating the fearful news are consciously when we are consciously talking about our own fear we are actually spreading more fear so one thing to do and we don't need more fear in the world today there's already enough fear going on between the coronavirus and the elections there's a lot of upheaval there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of restlessness and it's not just, you know, whether you want to hear the news or not, they are in your face 24 seven, you can't avoid them. And you are subjected to this energy around you. So, you know, I like to talk about what how we can um, transform this fear energy into something that is life enhancing, that's going to help us deal with the fear that's going to help us trust what's going on, look at the bigger picture, be conscious of what's going on and how we can be socially responsible and do our part uh, purposefully and with a lot of awareness. So, um, what you you call fear is, you know, when we are in the mind, there's a, you know, we can the thoughts will create and generate a lot of fear. So one thing to do is to gently drop the mind into the heart. You can do that by just simply placing your hand on the heart so you can localize it, you can physicalize it. So when the hand is there, you can gently bring your attention to the heart and begin to breathe into the heart. When you breathe into the heart and take a minute to close your eyes, breathing into the heart, and just tune into the fear or the frenzy that you might be feeling or uncertainty, whatever it is that you are feeling at this moment. And becoming aware and allow yourself to feel what you feel. Don't judge it. Don't say what you should feel. Just simply feel what you feel. And then accept that this is your current state of being. This is what you are experiencing. And what I'd like you to do is just simply open your heart to your fear. Don't worry about how to open the heart. When you talk, when you think about, I'm going to open my heart to my fear, it's really, what it really means is to love your fear. If we don't want fear, we have to show it love. If we want to be fearless, we need to bring it to love. And I think with so much fear and anxiety going on in the world, it's really needed that we understand how to love the fear, how to bring this fear, merge this fear in the one flow of love. So take a minute to open your heart, open your heart to the fear that you are experiencing and you can visualize here, visualize perhaps that there is this flow of energy, flow of love energy that is engulfing or, or just pulling this fear into itself and transforming it into love. And 
so how to open the heart if you know it's a concept that you don't know what it means so take you can also do this little exercise which is think about someone that you love um, your pet your kids your parents think of someone you love and see if you open your heart to them and what does it feel like to open your heart to them so when you open your heart what you're really doing the the energy follows the mind when you're thinking about opening the heart, energetically the heart opens and that positive energy will begin to fade away the fear if you open the heart to the fear. More we open the heart to the fear, do this exercise and see if that takes a little bit of the sting away, the, if it calms the fear. And when we continue to repeat that, we are changing our inner vibe we're changing the inner frequency and so we're not walking around and frantically and freaking out. We are actually responding to the situation as it's asking us to um, uh, respond. I'm just trying to see who joined here. And um, so that's, I think that it is really important because if we continue to get caught up in the fear of what's happening, we are only going to bring more fear, and we don't need more fear. What we need is more peace. What we need is more love. What we need is more trust. What we need more is looking at the bigger picture, doing our part, and letting go, and trusting that nature has its own way. Um, nature does what man cannot do. Uh, nature will correct. Nature has a way of correcting, of creating balances. It's something that's beyond our understanding, but when something big like this happens, we don't have a choice but to, you know, bow our head, surrender and trust, be humble, and do what you can do. And we don't want to add another log to the fire. Okay? We don't need that. We don't need more people running around fearful. We need people to calm down. We need people to simmer down so we can think straight. When we are fearful, we actually are become illogical. We become irrational. Um, that's not what's needed. So drop the mind into the heart. Open your heart to that part of you which is fearful. So more and more of you becomes the love frequency more and more of you be, begins to trust so now we need that we need those people who are walking around calmly and trusting and comforting the ones who are um, fearful so i hope that this helps take care of yourselves and um you know we've been given really a great opportunity to we've been given a lot of time i know on my end so many events and um, social events have been canceled so in a way it's a good thing it gives you a lot of time to reflect to go within and now also is a great time to learn how to pray you don't even have to actually learn how to pray you just simply pray in whichever way you you know how to pray and meditate um, there's so many meditations available free on YouTube that you can listen to guided meditations. If you want to listen, learn heart-based meditation, you can message me here. It's all set up on the audio. And um, so there will be more information coming up on the uh, anxiety and the fear that we're feeling. But I just wanted to touch base, say hello. Um, you know, I'm praying for all of us. And I also do trust that there is a bigger picture. We don't control everything, but we can step back, ask the question, and we can continue to do mindfully, purposefully what we know to do, and let go of the rest and trust. So be well, and I will talk to you soon. This is Meena Puri from Ayurvedic Healing Center.